I really need a coffee. I'm so stressed about the house move. You've still got a few weeks. You don't have to panic just yet. I'll need every minute. There are just piles and piles of stuff to sort out. Well, at least you've got Bill. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's a help or a hindrance. <laughs> I mean, he's keen to give me a hand, but everything he wants to throw out, I can't bear to part with, and vice versa. We just don't see eye to eye on what we consider to be rubbish. Yeah, I know what you mean. I remember when we moved and Helen wanted to take this rusty old metal ornament with her because it meant something to her. It's not even as if it's worth anything. And it's been in the garage ever since. I think she's forgotten all about it. I can see her point, actually. I'm just the same with the stacks of paintings and handmade models the kids have done. It's not like you need them in your everyday life. It's just that they have such sentimental value. You're kind of throwing away a part of their childhood. Oh, come on, Claire. Remember those old paintings you did at school that Mum kept and then gave to you years later? Mm. I remember you throwing them straight in the bin. <laughs> If I were you, I'd just keep a few pieces of the kids' creations that you particularly like. It's not even like they take up much space, though. I have more of a problem with the second-hand computer parts Bill seems to accumulate. Almost all of it is completely useless, although he claims that one day he plans to use all the parts to build a new computer. <laughs> Boys and their toys, eh? I'm the same with car parts. The thing is, I have no idea when I picked up all this clutter. Don't you remember the days when we were students? I could fit my entire life into two backpacks. Me too. That was the great thing about student life. You're not worried about material possessions because you don't actually have any. I guess most of the stuff we have comes with settling down, buying a house and having a family. Toys, bikes, beds, it's never ending. It's so easy to get caught up in this process. One thing kind of leads to another. Yeah, and you need something to spend your hard-earned cash on apart from bills. I don't think the problem is buying things. It's more a problem of hoarding the things you already have. It's so difficult to get rid of anything. I've got a friend who only lets her kids buy a new toy with their pocket money when they decide which old toy they want to give away. That certainly keeps the clutter down, and it helps out local charity shops as well. It's much better than throwing the stuff out, if you ask me. Well, that sounds like a brilliant idea. I'll suggest it to Bill. I'm not convinced he'll go for it, but it's worth a try. <laughs> I guess we'd have to stick to that rule ourselves, too, if we expected the kids to do it. Yeah, <laughs> and remind him how much removal companies charge. If I know Bill, that will motivate him. <laughs> There's nothing worse than unpacking and realising you could have saved yourself a small fortune if you hadn't packed half of it in the first place. Uh, I suppose you're right. Well, I'd better get back to it. I'll see you at the weekend. Thanks for the coffee. Okay, see you.